The corporate landscape and the climate change battle is changing. As the Senate starts looking at a possible climate bill, several companies are making high-profile moves to show their support for the legislation, while others are moving to distance themselves from prominent opponents. Clean Sky's Dan Goldstein is here with more. Good morning, Dan. Yes, yeah, Susan, corporate America is gearing up for that possible Senate debate over climate legislation. This week, a dozen major U.S. companies have signed an open letter to lawmakers urging them to take swift action. This coalition comes from all sectors of the economy. Economy, ranging from consumer projects like Bumblebee Foods and Johnson & Johnson to technology companies like Dell and Google and also utilities like Pacific Gas and Electric. They say they've begun changing their business practices measurably to reduce the emissions of carbon pollution and they want an incentive for other companies to do the same. Here's what they said, quote, a rapidly changing climate is reshaping the American landscape and poses a long-term threat to our nation's economy and to our children's future. We urge the Senate to pass a bill later this year that will reduce U.S. emissions of greenhouse gases and jumpstart a clean economy. Now, these companies say their moves have not only helped the environment, but their bottom line with savings on energy costs. At the same time, we're seeing a shift by corporations away from groups that oppose a climate bill. Alstom, a French company that makes parts for power plants, has become the second company in a week to pull out of a major lobbying deal for the coal industry. That's the ACCE, the American Coalition for Clean Coal Electricity. Alstom is working with U.S. companies on carbon capture and sequestration, like the project the Mountaineer Coal Fire Power Plant in West Virginia that we visited last week. But it says it's concerned about AC, ACCE's opposition to the climate bill, the same objections that Duke Energy raised last week when it pulled out of the coalition. ACCE tells the New York Times that with the Senate starting to set a timetable for its bill, such a move is to be expected, but it does raise questions about how much clout the coalition will have coming up in the all, uh, upcoming debate. Now, Alstom and Duke are also part of the U.S. Climate Action Partnership, U.S. CAP, an alliance of businesses and environmental groups that helped write Waxman Markey Aces Act that passed in June, but with their departure from ACCE, now has just two members that also belong to US CAP, General, uh, General Electric and Caterpillar. So with these departures from ACCE, it'll be interesting to see if there's going to be any pressure on the few companies that remain to follow suit. Susan. So Dan, tell me why, why, it's, why it's worthwhile for companies like Bumblebee to take this kind of action. Well, it's kind of interesting because as you can imagine, Bumblebee fishes for tuna and salmon in the ocean waters and they're very concerned that as global warming increases or as scientists say that it's increasing, that uh, migration patterns and fishing patterns of these fish uh, are moving and are getting smaller and it's just simply harder and harder for them to find the fish where they need them. Right. All right. Dan Goldstein, thank you.